hello and welcome to quick tips the wordpress video series in this video i'm going to install a free on-page seo plugin the name of the plugin is seo press on-site seo plugin this plugin has free as well as the premium version however in this video i'm going to work on only the free version of the plugin this is one of the best seo plugin for wordpress fully integrated with all page builders and themes so it doesn't matter which theme builder or the page builder you have it is compatible with all the page builders and all the themes you can even change the on-page seo settings on the page itself you do not even need to go to the edit section of the page i'll show you how does this work you can see that this plugin has been installed on more than 300,000 WordPress website and the ratings for this plugin are also good and this is the website as I said this plugin has free as well as the premium version and the price of the premium plugin is $49 per year for five websites in the premium plugin you will get local SEO WooCommerce SEO analytics stats automatic and manual schema Google News redirect manager and white label so here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website this is one of the old blogs and on this blog i'm using yoast seo plugin and i'm going to replace this yoast seo plugin with the seo press plugin in one of the previous videos i have shown you how to use the yoast seo free and pro plugin i have also published a video on how to use the yoast seo premium internal linking feature for better seo optimization i have also published a video on how to use the free rank math seo plugin this is another on page seo plugin this plugin also has many features this plugin also has free as well as pro version and this is the video that i have published for the rank math seo pro plugin setup if you want to watch these videos i'll give you the links in the description box these are also most popular seo plugins for wordpress website so let's go to the dashboard go to plugins and click on add new plugin we will start with the installation of the free plugin and search for seo press so this is the plugin SEO Press on-site SEO. Click on install now and click on activate plugin. All right, let's go to install plugins. Now, as I said earlier, I already have Yoast SEO plugin installed. I'm going to disable this plugin later and I'll use only the SEO Press plugin. In the plugin list, you will see SEO Press plugin or in the bottom left hand corner, you will see the SEO option for the SEO Press plugin let's go to the configuration wizard this is a small setup wizard click on next step now we already have yoast seo plugin installed so what i'm going to do i'm going to import all the metadata and the meta description from the yoast seo plugin to seo press plugin so if you are already using any other seo plugin you can import the data from that plugin you will see the list of all the plugins from where you can import the seo settings that you have already done on your wordpress website so i'm going to select yoast seo and it is going to import the title tags meta description and all these information click next step and this is about uh, your site the site title i already have the site title if you do not have it you can simply enter the site title here so i'm not going to make any changes here the default settings looks better this is your company name if it is required you can add person or organization i make it person and this is your name so i'm going to let's add the website name here if you want to upload an image you can also upload the image that will be your logo you can also add phone number and vat id so i'm not going to make these changes let's click on save and continue then you have linked your site to your social networks so you can add your facebook page url the twitter account pinterest instagram youtube url linkedin url click continue and for which single post type should indexing be disabled so we do not want to disable the indexing for any post or page so i'm not going to make any changes here do not display the single post type in search engine so leave it as it is click on save and continue for which other archive should index in indexing be disabled do not display date then do not display search archive and do not display author archives so leave it as it is click continue for which taxonomy archive should indexing be disabled leave it as it is and it says almost done a redirect attachment pages to their file for example the file.jpg so i'm going to enable this one remove category in your permalink in your permalink or in the url structure if you see the category name 
and if you want to remove that category name you can check this box otherwise click on save and continue now it says extend seo press that means if you want to buy you can buy the seo press pro plugin i'm going to click on skip this step go further all right skip this step and it says ready configure your xml site so i'm going to click on configure it so it will go to xml and html sitemap so this is your sitemap if you are using google search console you can update the sitemap there all right it says xml enable xml sitemap so everything is enabled so you don't need to make any changes here now let's go to dashboard here but before going to the dashboard let's go to plugins and disable the yoast seo plugin so that there will not be any conflict with another seo plugin right so it is disabled let's go to seo dashboard so this is the seo press plugin dashboard on the dashboard you will see which tools are enabled which modules are enabled titles and metas xml social network analytics then we have instant indexing I'll show you what is instant indexing image SEO and advanced settings and tools if I go to tools manage tools these are the tools export plugin settings import plugin settings if you want to import plugin settings from other SEO plugin you can use that option all right so there is nothing much here let's go back to dashboard now let's go to titles and metas and these are the basic settings of the titles and meta for your WordPress website. This is the separator. You will see the separator in the title tag here at the top. You will see that separator is there. If you want to change this separator, if you want to use another separator like this, you can add it here. This is the site title. If you want to show the site title, you can use it. This is for the home page. If you go to the home page of this particular website, what do you want as the title of your home page? It shows the site title. After that, if you want to add something else, you can add something else in the site title. Alternative site title, meta description. This is for the home page only. Let's go to post type. And uh, these are the settings for the post type. For the post type, it will show the post title, then separator, and then site title. So it will also show the site title. If you go here, and you will see the title as well as the site title at the end all right i'll show you how does this work we will go to one of the posts here and click on edit post now if i scroll down these are seo settings for this particular blog post and this is the title you will see the title is nothing but this this is the title of the blog post and after that you will see a separator here and then the name of the site that is the site title it it shows only 60 characters here so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this title only and delete everything from here and enter the title only so this is how it is going to change the the meta title for this particular blog post all right and it is below 60 characters here you can enter the meta description you will see some meta description which is auto generated i'm going to use the same one just make sure that for the better SEO, the keyword of that particular blog post is added in the title as well as in the meta description. All right, so we have got the title and some meta description. Let's go back to settings. I guess the default settings are pretty good. You do not really need to make any changes to the default settings. Let's go to archives here. So I'm not going to make any changes here. I just want to show you. Then we have XML and HTML sitemap, which is already created here. Then social networks. Again, if you want to add social media links, you can add the links. Analytics, you can also integrate Google Analytics. You will see it here. You just need to add the codes and it will get integrated with your SEO press plugin. Instant indexing. If you publish a new article and if you want to index that article instantly in the Google or Bing search results, you can simply check these options and enter the URL here and click submit URL to Google and Bing and it will submit that article in the Google and Bing search engines. So this is one of the best feature you will find in SEO press plugin. Then we have advanced option here. And this is for the image SEO. 
it says cleaning media file name if there is any space or capital letter it is going to change it cleaning media file name automatically set the image title and alt text so whenever you upload the image and if you forget to add the alt text it will add the alt text automatically so this is again a plus point for on page seo so i'm going to check this option and click save changes all right now let's go to the blog post again and let's see the structure of the seo press here currently i'm using gutenberg on this wordpress website and when you scroll down you will see the seo press settings at the bottom in some cases if you are using any other third party page builder you may find this option at the bottom or in the right hand column so we have gone through this title and meta description and this is the google snippet this is how it will look on the desktop and this is how it will look on the mobile devices right now below that we have content analysis it will give you the suggestion on what you need to do to improve the seo score on that particular article first you need to add the target keyword so that it will analyze the content for this article i'm going to use this target keyword connect iphone to wi-fi and let's add that target keyword here and click on refresh analysis now it will go through the article and it will give you some suggestions let's click on expand now it says the post is little old that's okay because this website is too old keywords in permalink so in the permalink you need to have the keyword if i go to url structure here you will see connect iphone to wi-fi it is there already so let's make it small case let's delete this one i'm going to change it connect refresh it let's expand it now here it says target keyword were found in h1 so it, in the h1 tag the target keyword is there we found two headings one h1 in your content target keyword were found in h2 so you need to go through all these suggestions and make changes to your blog article to improve the on-page seo score of that particular article all right so it seems good here here you will see social this snippet is for the facebook preview then this is for the twitter and this is again content analysis all right now let's go back to the seo press settings we are on the advanced we are on the advanced tab and go to appearance here now here you will see a checkbox disable universal meta box let's uncheck this one and save the changes all right now let's go back to the blog article open that article now on the article itself you will see this seo press icon so if i click on it it will open on page seo settings for this particular blog article so you don't need to go through this edit settings you can change the settings directly from the blog article itself you will see the title the meta description social advance redirection content analysis again it will give you the suggestion you can change them directly from the website says there is no outbound link you need to add the outbound link if i go to another article let's go to another article let's go to another article here and on the article itself you will see this icon click on it and it will open the seo settings for this particular article so you can go through these settings again you can add the meta title meta description Go to content analysis it will give you the directions follow those direction and improve the on-page seo score on your wordpress website so this is all about the free seo press wordpress plugin and if you want other features such as local seo woocommerce seo you can go for seo press pro plugin so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.